first option under users permissions is user policies. There are a number of settings here and the three important ones to notice at the top uh, are the roles for visitors, guests and the default role. Now these should be left set as they are when you first install your Moodle site but you may decide later on that you want to create a new role for visitors to give them an extra permission for an example or to take something away. The second part of the user policies page has a number of interesting settings. The first is the hide user fields. Now this enables an administrator to select one or numerous fields to hide. This will help increase privacy so if you're in a school or a situation that requires more privacy you can do that. The second group of settings are for when you're searching for people and although we can search by username and ID number these are in fact a security risk so this should generally be set as only email addresses. The site administrators option allows you to select any user and make them an administrator for the site. Obviously this has to be done with great care. Whilst we don't want lots of administrators because that's a security risk it is probably a good idea to have two or maybe three administrators in case one is unavailable for work or one forgets their password. The define roles option gives administrators the options to edit, copy, delete and add new roles. Generally when a Moodle site is first set up these roles with their underlying capabilities and permissions will be absolutely fine and can be tweaked later. The option to assign system roles has to be treated with great care. You can assign a user to be a manager or a course creator across the whole site, but that really does mean every single course. The option to check system permissions isn't so useful when we've just installed a Moodle site. However, when you have many hundreds or thousands of users, this can be a quick way to check the permissions of an individual user. The capability report is an advanced feature and shows for any specific capability what permissions it has. This isn't something you're going to use when you first installed Moodle, but later on as your Moodle site grows with more and more courses and more and more users, then this is something that we may return to. The unsupported role assignments could show, for example, where roles that were created in earlier versions of Moodle, and this site has now been updated, where these roles are no longer supported. It may also show information regarding things like an administrator being assigned at a course level, 